Hey everyone, this is Pagan Ruler, and I'm just going to show you a quick guide to how to run Tegra 2 games on the Samsung Galaxy S2, a device which really should be allowed to play these games from the start. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the Android market and download an app called Chainfire 3D. When you've installed this app, it will ask you to install um, the driver and then your phone will reboot. When it's rebooted, you should see all of these menus here. So you're going to go into default OpenGL settings, scroll down, and there's the use plugin option. Now, unfortunately, the app doesn't come with the plugins. You will need to use Google um, and search for Chainfire 3D plugins, and you'll quickly probably find a zip which includes three different plugins. You've got the PowerVR graphics chip, the Qualcomm, and the NVIDIA Tegra drivers. So we're going to set it for NVIDIA, and this is for default, so this is going to set it across the whole phone. So whenever it's calling OpenGL graphics, it's going to be emulating the Tegra chipset. We then click Fix Market Settings, and this will fix the market so the Tegra games show up. Now, because we've got Tegra emulation enabled, we're going to go into Market, and you will see that the Tegra games that were previously hidden from the Galaxy S2 are now available. And you can just install them legally, pay for them, like I have there with Fruit Ninja and Pinball. And I've also got the NVIDIA Tegra Zone Hub installed. Once you've got this installed, you can go back into the Chainfire 3D app and you can change your default settings back to no plugins so it's using the Samsung's chipset as normal. Now because I bought the Pro version, I've got this per app setting, which is really handy as you can set up what game uses what chipset. So you would click Pinball for instance, go down and then whatever um, chipset you want it to use. So this game, every time you run it, is going to automatically default to run with the NVIDIA set. And that really is it. That is as simple as it gets. So now you can go into games and let's have a look at Fruit Ninja HD just to show you that it is the proper Tegra games playing. So here we are, Fruit Ninja THD version. To be honest, I don't know, don't notice too much difference on this game. I mean, it is very smooth, um, so it is, it is it's a very addictive game, and it is slightly smoother than the normal version, and uh, there's no lag on, on the swipes, and it is just really one of those pick-up-and-play games. You can get other games as well. Um, not all of them work. Dungeon Defenders, at the moment, for some reason, crashes. Um, but you've got other games such as his his pinball and again this really does show off how beautiful some of the graphics can be on this Galaxy S2 so again we're looking at z zero lag on some really top quality graphics so I hope that's uh, gonna help some of you guys get these great Tegra games working on your Galaxy S2 um, and this was my first video, so I hope it's not been too bad. Thank you.